Hey guys, Mike Moo here. I just want to give a final update with my AT&T fiber story. Hopefully this is the final update. So I was getting somewhat slow speeds off of my uh, new Motorola router. And it that is the, um, so I did, a, I did an update video on here. I'm going to like it myself over here. Um, I did an update. Okay, so uh, this is for the BGW BGW 210-700 and I was not getting close to 1 gigabit speeds. Now there are a lot of factors involved in here. Um, part of it is, uh, you know, if you're connecting via Wi-Fi and you're not on Wi-Fi 6 or the 802.11.ax, you're not going to get anything close to 1 gigabit because 802.11ac doesn't go that fast. So you might realistically get maybe, you know, a couple hundred, 300, th I think 300 something megabits per second is what you can expect. And I say that because I had the uh, Google Wi-Fi mesh system, which is fine, but it's definitely not up to task in terms of uh, setting out and taking advantage of full gigabit. All right, so there's that. Now, the modem router that you are required to use from AT&T, there's two different models. And I learned this from the AT&T tech. So last year when I did this, um, it was a different model from this year. So last year I had, uh, I believe it was the Aris or Pace model. And, you know, I, I did a video on that and it, it's helped a lot of people. But now they're giving out new equipment, right? So because they're giving out new equipment, I had to do a new video uh, to let everybody know what's up with that, and which I did. And I got slower than one gigabit speeds. So I contacted AT&T, and then they gave me, uh, they sent out a guy to come out and check stuff out. So the guy came over, and basically he's like, look, I know what's up. And I think maybe we should do a reset first and figure out if that's the problem. I told him, yeah, I, I did a reset. And um, he said, well, let's do one again. And so long story short is we did one again. And, you know, that, that was what it took. Now, I don't know what else was taken care of after I contacted the support. They had to do something with their lines. Okay. So... They did something with their lines, and basically the reset, which is basically holding down the reset button for 20-some seconds and then having it all reset to the beginning, that solved my problem. Like I was getting 940, 960 uh, megabits per second up and down, which is really you know, what I was expecting, and I knew this because... Obviously, I had AT&T before. We just signed up again. Uh, that's all we did. We, we canceled the previous one, signed up again, because I'm down here in L.A. And, you know, after, after a year, the promotional rate disappears. So it makes sense for you to go ahead and sign up again at the new promo rate. Not only was it cheaper month to month, now a year later... They also gave me a $100 Visa gift card and then another $100 Visa gift card when I hesitated in ordering. So they said, look, if you order now, we'll give you an extra $100 uh, Visa gift card. Now, last year, they said something like that too, but I never got it. I don't know what happened. Uh, seems like other people had complained about the same thing. But what I did have was they gave me a little discount on, the, um, on a couple of months of the statement so I figured that's probably what they did instead I don't know I never got contacted about it any of it either way okay so so that got everything up and running um, so that's something that you might want to test as well but here's an interesting thing so I talked to the guy that came out really nice guy you know uh, AT&T customer service people that have come out I've seen two of them because the first one had to help install it And the first guy was really great. I mean, he installed it, checked everything. It was really good. He said, I had the best speeds he has, he's ever seen before. And the second guy, 
and gave me more details. You know, I asked him about what was going on, and he told me, look, this is this is probably what happened. Uh, it could be that your ONT, which is where your fiber system comes in, is uh, bad. We've had some firmware problems with it. Okay, so that's one problem. And I, I told him, look, a couple of months ago, we did have that. We, we had a problem where uh, the Internet kept cutting out. And we had to keep resetting it. And he told me, well, that was that previous modem, which was this one, the Pace 5268AC uh, FXN, had a lot of problems. Like when it would lose connection, it takes a while for, the, for it to get back up. It takes five or six minutes or something. So everybody that is or was on the Pace 5268AC FXN, you're going to get switched to the new Motorola or Eris. BGW 210-700, which is why I did this new video when people told me they were getting these new uh, modem routers and to ask me to do a new video about it. So um, so everybody's going to get this. But the tech told me now that the problems they're seeing are uh, the firmware problems with the older ONT uh, fiber, where the fiber cord comes in, right? and then converts that uh, back over to a network jack to your modem, those have been going bad. So he's he's thinking, well, if this wasn't it, most likely it is the ONT. And then uh, if that isn't it, then maybe maybe it could be my modem. But uh, it turned out modem was okay. Yeah, it was, it was fine. It just needed them to do something on their end I don't know what because I talked to a different customer service person and then do a hard reset hard reset involves pressing that button in the back for 20 seconds and then releasing it having it reboot okay and then after that you know I was getting my speeds the speeds that I was expecting um, I'll go ahead and show you what that speed test looks like let me just remote into that computer system that is directly plugged in. Uh, sorry, n not directly plugged in, but directly uh, plugged into my Netgear Orbi router. Okay, so this right here, this is actually directly from Wi-Fi, okay, uh, from the modem router right next to it. Now, the Wi-Fi chip is a little bit older on here. Uh, I don't remember which one it is. But it was an AC, uh, 802.11 AC, on an, on an 8th gen Intel uh, processor. No, wait, 4th gen. Okay, so maybe it, maybe it wasn't, a, wasn't, wasn't the best. So this is the speed test directly connected to uh, the Ethernet jack right out. Now, when we did some of these tests, it varied between, um, I don't know, 200, 250, all the way up to 800 and something and so you can see right here I'm getting upload speed of 940 so the tech guy also told me that look it might vary back and forth on here just throughout the day and you know I gotta believe him he's been around for 13 years and servicing the same neighborhood right across the street over well not right across the street but right right across the next city over in Alhambra so he knows what's up so these speeds are ex just kind of what I what I'm supposed to expect now. All right. And keep in mind I've been gone away for a year or so, and coming back, um, this is really the anniversary of when I signed when I was able to get AT&T fiber here because the um, the station, whatever you call it, I forgot the technical term for that, uh, happened to be closer and uh, supported our area here. So look, the download speed is 507. 26 megabits per second upload speed is 946 now when I did the test earlier I was getting 900 and something 940 uh, download and 946 uh, upload and it makes sense because we're definitely doing more downloads than we are doing upload overall so see I'm doing another speed test right now and, and it's getting around 880 and uh, 900 and something so it varies quite a bit but at least this is so much better than Comcast and Xfinity, right? So this is what I'm getting right there uh, with the desktop that's really close by. And now from my own mesh, though, and I think I need to optimize this. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely need to optimize this. 
So here, uh, my my true speed test over here um, on this laptop, which is an MSI GP73 Leopard 8RF, supposedly gaming notebook. This is what I'm getting here. This is about 30, 40 feet away, a couple walls in between, and getting ping of six milliseconds. So I'm getting 283 down, an upload of 360 something. So pretty darn close to my first initial tests. That's where it's at. I think I need to optimize uh, how or where I'm putting, uh, I'm looking at my Netgear Orbi right now, and I might get better results from that. So this is realistically what I'm going to expect to get um, as I'm using the system right now. For sure, you're going to get the, the best speeds by just simply plugging in. Okay, Wi-Fi extender is not going to help. In fact, it's going to increase the ping even more. This Netgear Orbi, of course, is designed specifically uh, to work mesh. So these are the speeds to expect. All right, so to sum it all up, um, what you should do when you first get your 802, uh, sorry, when you first get your uh, modem router for AT&T is go ahead and plug in, check it, run the speed test, see what kind of speed you're supposed to be getting. You should be getting at least, I personally think you should be in a six or 700 directly plugged in. Now, if you're local Wi-Fi, you probably won't be able to test your complete speed. Um, you wouldn't be able to test your complete speed unless you are on Wi-Fi 6, which you're not, and also their motor routers are not at Wi-Fi 6 anyway, so that's just really not going to help. Test that. If that doesn't work out, do a hard reset. Hold the reset button down for 20 seconds minimum. Let it go. It'll reset everything back to factory or the way things were before, so keep that in mind if you did any customizations. It's all going to be wiped back to zero or the way it comes out from the box. Okay, do the speed test make sure it's okay and if it's not okay do that hard reset uh, wait a couple minutes do that hard reset again okay maybe unplug it plug it back in wait a bit then do another hard reset that might have been the key to getting my speeds up direct local to 900 something all right and then after you do that if you still need help uh, go ahead and contact um, their support line and I think the best way to do that was See, this is where this is where, okay. So you got to do get equipment help. You got to run through the different things that they have, and then finally it says if you still need help, uh, contact the chat. Here's the thing. They don't really make it very easy to figure out how to contact the chat. So what I remember doing was look. These are the contact options. You can call the phone number. My suggestion is forget calling the phone number because these all get centrally routed somewhere else and probably it's going to get routed to some other country to someone who has to read a script and um that's just uh that's just pretty annoying okay it could be really annoying because you're there live with them on the phone and you kind of have to pay attention whereas when you're doing a chat when you're doing a chat you can actually be doing something else at the same time and then, trust me, they're doing something else at the same time, too. So, let's see, where was it? I think the problem with, with contacting their chat is you got to run through all their different things first before they connect you. Yeah. So, what I had to do was go through the fix the issue, run through the different things. Uh, that they had, including resetting uh, the modem. It, it's going to restart the modem, and then if you have... Uh, If you have um, Wi-Fi turned off like I did, they're gonna they're gonna request that you turn it on, and that's all through the interface. And then after you get there all through that, and it says, "Well, it looks like we still can't help you," then an option will pop up, and that's where you can do the chat. Because I'm looking at this. Okay, so it's doing a service checkup. I guess this takes about 30 some seconds according to what this says. They didn't find any outages. They didn't find any equipment. So you got to you got to go through these steps right here, right? And then you got to tell them that look it's still not working and then that's when you can go ahead and chat see I, I can't even get it here it's not this one I did not get this one get expert support for your software viruses that's not the one you want that's not how I got through to them I guess worst case is give them a call but I'm just warning you it's gonna be a little bit frustrating 
to a lot frustrating depending on who you connect to and um, you might you may or may not complain about what you already tried and done they're still gonna have to run through the script so it's gonna be like a good hour okay here here's a chat option right here now if I recall correctly this chat option when I click it, it you talk to a bot okay, it's not even a real person here we go see it's an automated virtual assistant what you've got to do if you're absolutely sure that you need live help um, you just got to keep typing that okay that you need live help live assistant you want to you need you need to speak to someone or something like that and that's when you actually get connected to a real person so here you're just talking to a bot all the way around maybe you got to type the same thing in a couple of times just say I need to speak to someone I tried all this other stuff where I have connection issues just say you have connection issues your internet slow that's what I did and that I would like to speak to a live person I had to type that in a couple of times before I reached someone. All right, so that's all the tips that I have here uh, as far as if you uh, are not really getting the speeds you were expecting. That's something you should know. And I really hope this helps you out. If you have any questions or you have any other tips that you want to leave for other people, feel free to comment down below. Um, I know my last video helped a lot of people. And I think my new video uh, for the 2020 with the BGW 210-700 is going to help a lot of people. And I'm, I'm really hoping that this uh, video would also help uh, you guys out there as well. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.